Hi, my name is David. This is INFJ Writer, and today I want to talk about confidence. I think. I mean, I'm not sure. Maybe I shouldn't. A little bit about confidence today, and uh, this is something I wanted to touch on because of an event that uh, recently happened that was kind of sad. Um, so there was a uh, there was a man by the name of John Corcoran who passed away uh, this past May, and I only just found out about it a couple days ago. And um, <clears throat> John was the editor for Black Belt Magazine in the 1970s when it was just getting started. And eventually, uh, and he had written books and um, a screenplay uh, for a movie called American Samurai that, that um, you know, got made, and uh, was the editor for Century Martial Arts' MA Success Magazine. And, uh, century, and I have... Uh, I have the magazine here that I received. Got a little ripped on the cover because there was all sorts of glue on it. But um, here's the guy, and there he is. Now, John and I spoke a few times, and um, because I had an article that was published in in this magazine, MA Success, uh, back in December, uh, somewhere around there. And uh, you know, when, when I first emailed him, I saw that uh, I saw in the magazine that there was a, a call for writers, and I've never written professionally. I've written, you know, I'd written things and uh, written for websites and all sorts of stuff, but never like an actual, you know, article, published article in a magazine, a physical copy of something that was printed, uh, you know, and, and handed out. Um, so I, I was really, uh, I was very nervous uh, emailing him, and I did, never talked to him before. And, um, you know, I said basically, this is my story, and, and I think it's a story worth telling. And uh, I've, I've told this story before, but basically we went back and forth uh, a couple times in some emails and he, uh, he asked me to write the article. He said that he had read my pitch to his writers group, uh, his like staff, writing staff, and that they agreed that I should be the one to write the article. And so, okay, sweet. And, uh, you know, wrote the article and um, received a phone call from him shortly afterward. And he was just, uh, he was you know, taken aback by how awesome the article was. And that was really cool. Um, <clears throat> recently, this past May, you know, and then fast forward uh, a year and a half and the article finally comes out in the magazine. It just it took a long time. It took a year for it to come out. And so a year and a half later, and I hadn't spoken to him in that time, um, he called me in May, uh, this past May, a week before my birthday, as a matter of fact, and uh, called me out of the blue and said, hey, I just had a triple bypass surgery and I had your article posted on my board and I wanted a, a reminder, I wanted to keep it there as a reminder that when I was recovered and back in the office that I should call you. Long story short, he asked me to write for the magazine again and he said, you know, please send me more. Uh, I want to hear what you have to say and I want to read your words. And he said something very flattering to me, which was that uh, he had been an editor for over 40 years and he has seen millions and millions of words in front of his eyes and my words stuck and uh, they were they were very impactful to him and uh, that's a, a really awesome thing when somebody who's been in an industry for so long recognizes you as, as having a talent and uh, you know and, and his words to me were God gave you a gift and that's uh, it's something that I'm gonna hold on to for the rest of my life so how this plays into confidence is we have a lot of moments as artists, as somebody who has a hobby at work or wherever, where you feel insecure and like you're not able to do something up to a standard that you should be able to do it. Somebody else is always better at it than you. Uh, it never works out or you always mess something up or whatever. And it's hard to have confidence in yourself at those moments. What, what I do, and it's similar to, to uh, I, I suppose, like a gratitude journal, but for me, it's just a mental note uh, because I can't, even if I wrote it, I wouldn't be able to read it anyway because my handwriting is so poor. Um, what I like to do is remember these moments and these things. And so the next time I'm having a hard time writing or I get rejected as far as a story that I had submitted or something along those lines, I can look back and I can say, look, there was this guy that owed me absolutely nothing, who was uh, just a kind man who gave me really nice words and and objectively and purely not knowing who I was, didn't owe me any favors, said, wow, you have a God given gift and you need to write. And no matter what you write, you're going to be successful. And so I, I think finding those, 
little things that help you to you know and and it's okay to give yourself like pats on the back i mean those little things that help you feel full and uh and help you feel a little bit of confidence and earned confidence those things are good there really wasn't much else that i wanted to talk to you about today uh just mostly that yesterday i'd recorded a uh, a full hour and a half uh about um of an interview with my uh with my nephew and that's going to be posted on his youtube page and I'll, I'll give you guys links to that one when it when it comes out later this week um so my brain is a little fried right now uh having done a lot of uh, a lot of youtubing and a lot of talking into a camera um but i think this confidence talk is important i mentioned it on on that video as well um just to just to give yourself a little bit of a boost and be like okay you know what maybe Maybe right now I'm struggling with something, but I have had successes and those successes were meaningful. No matter how small they are, they're really meaningful because it's all part of growth and it's all part of the process. So keep doing you and keep working hard, uh, whether it's with writing or whether it's whatever artistic pursuit or music or, you know, whatever it is that you're doing, keep working at it and, and keep trying to find those little things to, to help bolster your confidence in moments where you're feeling a little bit down because you don't need to it's everybody goes through this so hopefully that helps you uh with a little bit of a little bit of a confidence talk a little bit of a boost um and uh, I, i've received a couple of uh, emails recently of people that are actually watching my channel and thinking like you know i, I kind of want to start my own youtube channel and uh, same thing there, you know, it's, you're going to have some little successes. Some videos aren't going to be great. You're going to get some thumbs down on stuff. You'll get some thumbs up and just remember the ones that are success and duplicate those and move forward and, and keep growing. So uh, best to you all. I hope to see some new channels out there uh, inspired by my ridiculous, goofy stuff that I'm doing. Uh, and if you do start one and you've been watching these and you're uh, modeling it after something that I'm doing, please drop me a line because I want to see that kind of stuff. I think it's awesome. So uh, thank you for watching and I'll, I'll uh, see you on the next video. Thank you.